Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you are new to this channel, my name is Marcel Vandenberg and I'm a Petty Platinum Course Director. Um, I have taught uh, thousands of students all around the world and during my career I've noticed that from all those students there was one particular skill that uh, a lot of new divers uh, had more issues with than, uh, than other diving skills and, uh, and that is to clear your mask under the water. So, I do have a few videos where I show under the water how to do it, um, but still I got some reactions from people with a lot of questions saying like, okay, I get, I get it, it's easy to see how you do it under the water, um, but it's still not working for me, I'm still breathing into my nose and, and things like that. So I thought, why don't just dedicate a full video on how to clear your mask under the water um, while scuba diving. Uh, so uh, if you hopefully like this video, then don't forget to hit that like button, uh, that little thumbs up that you see under this video, and that will help me immensely, uh, as this video will then uh, rank a little bit better in Google. Um, and of course, this helps other people as well, because then they can find this video more easier, and hopefully they can learn from these tips as well. Uh, now, of course, besides uh, giving a big thumbs up, uh, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel, uh, and don't forget that little notification bell next to it uh, and give that a click so then you get a notification every time I upload a new video with uh, some really awesome scuba diving uh, teaching tips. Uh, now, with no further ado, uh, let's get into this video on how to clear your mask under the water while scuba diving. All right, so you are probably watching this video for a couple of reasons. One, you might be super excited about trying out scuba diving. Uh, you're at home right now, you are planning your scuba diving holiday, and uh, you already did some research uh, to do the first course, which is your open water diver course, to get your scuba diver license. And you are super excited. Um, however, you've heard from some friends, from some people that have already done it, that there is this one skill uh, that might be a little bit difficult, uh, and that is how to clear your mask uh, under the water. Um, and, and you might be watching this video right now to, to get a few tips to prepare yourself. Uh, some other uh, ones that are watching this video right now, you are maybe doing the course already and you found out that uh, today or yesterday or a few days ago when you were in confined water and you tried for the first time to clear your mask under the water that uh, you had some issues with it and you're just looking for some more information. Um, or you might already be certified and you just still don't feel really comfortable clearing your mask um, and, and, and hopefully this video can help you that as well with some, uh, with some awesome tips. Um, so, uh, scuba diving is really, really fun. That, that's the most important thing to get out of the way. Um, and there are people that quit. Um, they quit during the course and sometimes even before the course where, you know, they have their doubts. And uh, to be honest, I was one of them. Uh, you know, I, I kind of got talked into this whole scuba diving thing. I, I thought in the beginning, you know, we're not fish. Uh, it's beautiful under the water, but you know, we're not supposed to be there. We can't breathe and, you know, things like that. Um, however, though, you know, my friend kept talking me into it, kept talking me, it's amazing. You can see so many beautiful things. Do it, try it out. You can always quit. Um, so I thought, okay, why not? Let's give it a go. And uh, for me, the, the first water underwater experience was in the, in the swimming pool. And actually, it wasn't so bad. The breathing was a bit weird, but you know, you get it under control. And then we did some scales and I felt like, wow, this is pretty amazing. Um, and then we got to that, uh, uh, yeah, how to clear water from your mask uh, under the water. And, uh, and, and already because I was a bit like, you know, overthinking things and a bit like feeling not so strong about this whole scuba diving thing, um, I, I breathed a little bit into my nose. So, um, and that causes a reaction of coughing, of course, and it's quite uncomfortable. So that was the moment for me that I thought, okay, you know, maybe this whole scuba diving thing is not for me. Um, well, as you clearly can see right now, that, that, that turned a little bit different. And you know, now I'm a, a, a petty platinum course director, uh, teaching diving instructors all around the world. So uh, what happened? Well, what happened is that you, know, you, you just have to kind of go through it and keep trying you know, and, and build up that confidence. And then, uh, and then it gets better. And before you know it, it clearing your mask is super easy. And, uh, and, and, and you really spend now more time looking at beautiful stuff under the water. So um, 
for me that was very important to not give up and to keep going and just not overthink it um, and and scuba diving is an absolute amazing experience like if, if you're watching this and you haven't been scuba diving yet or you're watching this and you have only tried out let's say confined water didn't see that much oh my god guys there are uh, reefs under the water you can't even believe the amount of diversity of life the colors um, uh, the animals the fish the corals how they work together it's 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 an alien world and you know if there's a couple of you sky fi nerds out there as well like i'm a big nerd here then uh, then this is your chance uh, of getting a uh, uh, close to maybe having that feeling of visiting another another planet or another world so the rewards are amazing um, so it is really really important uh, that we that we get this under control and and scuba diving is amazing and it you know people say it's easy and it's not scary and it and it isn't in a way but things can go wrong and to make sure that things don't go wrong uh, to prevent them or to be able to solve them easily under the water if things do go wrong we need to learn a couple of skills first and these are the basic skills that you learn in an open water diver course from any organization out there and now in the end you get a diver's license not driver's license diver's license i always uh, confuse people with that because i don't pronounce the r that well all right so with this diver's license or diving certificate now you can go around the world, go on a holiday, and you visit these dive centers. And uh, if you then want to go scuba diving, you show your card, and then they allow you to dive. And why? Because they know that you have completed a certain amount of basic skills to be able to safely scuba dive that day to a certain depth or under certain conditions. Um, and, 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 and that's why it's important that we, that we complete those skills first. Now, all the skills are actually surprisingly easy. Like, um, I, I've even had students coming, you know, out of the swimming pool and saying, oh, was that it? You know, I was thinking it was gonna be so much harder, so much more scary, but in the end, it really wasn't. And, and actually, it's even fun. So even being in here without fish, it's, it's still considered an amazing experience to breathe under the water. Um, but for, for some people, they have issues with particularly one skill and uh, that is uh, the how to clear the mask under the water and uh, of course you might have a sort of good moment where you're already super nervous you don't really want to do this and somebody tells you okay put some water in a mask and clear it and you quickly do it and 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 he gives you a high five and okay let's now go to you know 18 meters or down the road 30 meters that's still not good because you might have done it once but what if you have to do it again or again and, and it might go wrong then, right? So the, the, the key to any learning process is repetition. Um, repetition is key, you know, repeating, repeating, repeating. Think about how to ride a bicycle. You know, you, you first have you, somebody holding you with the side, you know, wheels and then they let you go with the side wheels and after probably a couple of times falling down as well, they take the side wheels off when you get better. And, and, and sleep is so important, you know, you go that night to sleep, you learn, and the next day you get better and better. Um, anything we do in life is about repetition, and the more repetition you do, you, the better you get at it. Uh, some people are just better at things quicker than others. They might need to do things like three times, while another person needs to do it eight times to get the same effect. But in the end, we all get there. Um, actually, sometimes when I see people struggle with certain skills, um, and they, they start repeating it way more often. So instead of the super strong student that, that knows how to clear that mask maybe like say three times, um, the person that was a bit weaker now practices it maybe 10 times. And in the end, they actually become slightly better than the person that did it only three times. So repetition is absolute key. So if you, if you couldn't do it now or today, you tried it out and you know, yeah, but I did it like three, four times. It didn't work out, I can't scuba dive. Yes, you can. Just give it another go, another go. And you might need a little break or something or, or, or come back the next day or, or even wait a week. But trust me, you'll get it in the end, right? So never ever give up. That's, that's the key. Don't give up. Now saying that, um, there, in the end, it's not for everyone, right? So, I mean, if you try it for 100 times, you have multiple breaks, you did everything you could, but it still doesn't work out in the end, 
hey, you know, it's not the end of the world, uh, try skiing, right? Uh, go rock climbing, uh, bicycling, kayaking, uh, kite surfing. Oh my God, there's so many cool things to do as well. So um, trust me, scuba diving is cooler than all of it combined. But uh, if you can't do it, it's not the end of the world. There's still other cool stuff to do, right? So you, in the end, it's all about having fun. And if you're not having fun, then, then don't do it, right? But uh, trust me, don't, don't instantly give up when you don't have fun. Maybe give it a few more times uh, and you'll be surprised uh, about the result that you, get, that you get out of it. Now, you, you might be wondering, you know, oh my God, what are we actually talking about? I mean, is uh, clearing a muscle from water is scary? Is it hard to do? Well, you know, let me just show you first, before I explain anything, what it really is and how it works, right? Just by showing you. Um, here we got a scuba mask. And basically what we're talking about is when we are scuba diving, um, we always get a little bit of water in our mask. This is uh, completely normal. Um, it, it can be all kinds of different reasons. You know, maybe uh, the, the seal is not sealing it well. Probably you got some hair in between the seal. That's very common. Uh, you're smiling a lot because you're having fun. Right? Diving is supposed to be fun. So you're like, like this on the water a lot. And then you get these little lines here. So water can go inside a little bit. Um, other reasons might be a mustache or a beard and the mustache that's very common as well that people get a bit of water in there or sometimes a new mask now d don't get me wrong I'm not saying you shouldn't buy a new mask because it's actually good to buy a new mask compared to the ones you rent or get for free to shop and the reason why is because th those masks have been used by hundreds or maybe thousands of people before you so this whole latex thing this this seal starts forming a little bit around their the shapes of their faces so that's why you know it's not in the best quality anymore it's maybe a bit loose as well you know a bit weak um, a new mask you get a brand new untouched you know latex and when you then put that on and you start diving with it for the beginning it's so hard that uh, water might sip in as well a little bit and then people go oh I bought the wrong mask or this is not good trust me that's, that's not the case at all um, just do a couple of more dives and then that latex that 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 seal starts forming around your face um, which uh, which means it really becomes truly your mask in your shape and the, the the leaking of water becomes less and less and less so that's that's a great tip I just want to throw in in between um, get your own mask very important and uh, and don't give up after the first dive a couple of dives it gets better so again we got our mask, we got it on, we get a little bit of water in there for any of those reasons I just told you. And how do we clear it? Well, this is how it goes. Ready? That's it. Clear. Why are we here? Wait, wait, one, one more time. Water's in there. That's it. Fish. Huh. What? That looks very easy, right? So why are we watching this video? Why, why are so many people struggling with how to clear your mask under the water while they're scuba diving? Well, the reason is, is that what I literally just did, I breathed into my mouth and then I exhaled, I blew out through my nose while slightly looking up a little bit and touching that frame or putting a little bit of pressure at the top of the frame which opens up a little bit of space here in the bottom of the mask like this and what happens then is when you breathe into your mouth and you breathe out through your nose the nose is going to push the water that's inside of your mask out like that and it doesn't even take a lot of force to be honest it's and it's super easy to do as well like that and it's 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 one of the reasons why we have our nose enclosed in our mask as well so we can uh, we can we can clear it from water you know if you have those little you know the little swimming uh, swimming glasses goggles whatever you want to call them a mask right they 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 also might get some water in there but then you have to go to the surface and let it out and then continue but we're swimming on the surface so it's it's not a, a really big deal um, 
But when we're scuba diving, we can't just do that, go up and down all the time, right? So it really helps to have our, our, our nose inside of our mask. That was really simple, right? So why is it then so difficult for a lot of people? There's all kinds of different reasons for it, but the main reason I have seen in my career is that they lack confidence. And lacking confidence isn't just because you're a person that doesn't have a lot of confidence in your life. It, uh, it, 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 it literally comes from, you know, not being in your element. You know, you might be a, a skydiver already. You might climb mountains, you might do rafting, you might be a super adventurous person and, and, and not scared of anything. But you try scuba diving and suddenly this is something that's, that's just out of your element. You're under the water, it feels weird, uh, the breathing goes weird, and, and, and now you're lacking confidence. And when that happens, you start to question yourself and you can't focus that much on, uh, on the tips and tricks that you're, that you're learning from, from your instructor and then things suddenly go wrong. Um, so it's not, it's not that, you know, not having enough confidence is only for people that, you know, maybe not so strong. Um, actually, it's, it's, it can happen to anybody. Anybody can, uh, can lack confidence um, in something. Um, if you don't have the confidence, you start to, like I just said, overthink. And overthinking, it's almost like trying to start up your old computer really fast in the morning when you're late. You know, you start clicking on things quickly, 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 quickly and, and you're just overloading that processor, making it even more slower. And this is what happened to our brain as well, because we're computers too. So somebody just says, hey, you know, put some water in your mask and uh, breathe into your mouth, out through your nose, know, it's gone. And you're going, oh, uh, okay, all right, so step one, I have to uh, put water in a mask. Oh, not too much. Um, and then step two, I might need to touch it somewhere. And oh my God, what are we doing again? Oh yeah, into the, into the nose. No, no, uh, into the mouth. Um, and then out through the nose. And, but, but what if it goes wrong? What if I breathe into my nose, you know, and I just start coughing? I don't want to cough under the water. You know, will I drown? You, know, you see, what <laughs> you're overthinking all of this, and and you know, something very simple, like into your mouth and out your nose, suddenly becomes not simple anymore, and it becomes actually really, really hard. Um, so if you find yourself struggling to clear your mask under water, you know, when you're scuba diving, then maybe just stop for a moment don't don't just keep trying and keep trying and keep trying i mean i told you repetition is important but not repeating the same wrong thing you know that's that just makes you less confidence even more less confidence even more hmm. anyway i'm from holland yeah i'm not 100 sure if my uh grandma is so good sometimes anyway um where was i again oh yeah so when you see yourself like trying to do it and it's just not working, relax, just breathe, under the water. Forget about the mask, bah. Just, if the instructor's rushing you, it's a bad instructor, you know, tell him to stop, relax. Or, or maybe switch to another one. Most instructors are not, they're amazing people, lots and lots of patience. So, they will let you, they will let you relax. Maybe look at the bottom of the, pool and look at your bodies if you have friends with you if there's other people you know like wave at them a little bit i know it sounds a little bit weirdish and childish but it's not it's perfectly normal you're in outer space you know you're about to you want an adventure and, and everybody's on an adventure and you need to help each other you know M maybe swim around a little bit if that's possible with the instructor um, especially in the shallow end don't go deep yet until you can clear your mask from water. But when it's shallow, you know, just swim around a bit. And, and if you can find open water, the ocean, even better, maybe, maybe you have a little fish coming up to you. And then you can look at the fish. You know, clear your mind. And then try it again. Huh, and suddenly it works, you know. And that feeling, that feeling when it works, oh, angels are singing, whoa. It's, it's amazing and, and you're gonna feel like a million dollars so if it didn't work for 50 times you might feel a little bit you know silly or you know all the other people are doing it easy and you go oh, I'm the only one you know I know it's not a cool feeling so if you quit then you're gonna have that feeling for the whole day the whole week and whatever how long that takes don't keep going because after 50 times or 100 times 
you get it up oh, you'll be flying for the rest of the day uh, or the next week or the next month you might even go home and go I did it I clear my bus to all your family members and friends uh, who have absolutely no idea what you're talking about um, I, I kind of did that but don't don't say that to anybody okay because I'm supposed to be a really cool course director and stuff um, cool so confidence is key It's not just one skill with a little bit of water and then taking it out under the water. Actually, um, you're gonna do a couple of different skills. Depending on your training organization, this might be slightly different. I'm a, a PEDI course director, so uh, in, the, in the PEDI open water diver course, you will, uh, you will learn first how to uh, get a little bit of water out of your mask. We call this partially flooded mask. Um, just a little bit, just under the eye level here. Um, quite easy. The, the second one will be a uh, fully flooded mask. Um, so what we do, we, we fill up the mask completely with water all the way and then we clear it. Now, a lot of people now go, oh no, the first one is easy, but the other ones are going to be hard uh, because it's too, much more water, but it's not. It, it's, it's just a tiny little bit more water. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, and then uh, once you master that, and maybe did it a few times if you feel like it. Then we got the mask removal and replacement where we actually take the entire mask off and then put it back on. Now it's fully flooded, of course. And then clear it from water. Um, we never really take a mask off under the water though when we just scuba diving. So if you are worried about that, then it's very rare. But if you lose your mask, if you want to adjust your mask strap under the water, whatever, you can, you, can, you can easily do it. Get it off, put it back on and clear it and continue your dive. It's, it's, really, it's really not that much of a big deal. But of course, the mask removal, the entire you take it off, put it back on, that's like the, the ultimate skill in your open water course. And, um, and this is the one that a lot of people are most nervous about. And when you did it, when you took it off completely, it's also the one that makes people uh, really go like, wow, I did it, you know, I, 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 now I'm an open water diver. So it's almost like your, your graduation skill for, for a lot of people. Um, so now we've got all the crickets as well going on in the background. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is pretty loud here, I can tell you. But hey, again, welcome to the tropics. Uh, and hopefully we will welcome you here one day as, uh, as well. Um, and another one is to take up your mask uh, and, then, and then hold it for, uh, for a minute under the water to really get that breathing under control just through your mouth, through your regulator and, and to make sure you don't breathe into your nose. And once you did this for a full minute, you can put it back on and clear it. And, uh, and then we even have one more where we take off the mask and we go for a nice little swim holding your mask uh, and just breathing through your mouth while you're swimming, I better if I do it like this, uh, through the pool. Um, and then, uh, and then uh, after a certain distance, depending on your training organization, you put it back on and then you clear it, uh, clear it from water. Um, so you see there's quite a lot of these how to clear your mask uh, skills under the water. Um, so, uh, so yeah, it's important that we get it under control. And that's why we're here. Now, To, to help you guys to make this even easier for you, I got, I got some really, really cool tips for you to share right now. And if you follow these tips right now, I can tell you that it will help you significantly in how to clear your mask uh, while you're scuba diving. You might still struggle a bit. Uh, you might even have you know, a better way doing it yourself. Another person might have given you some tips and they are amazing as well. So I'm not saying that the following tips are the only tips. They are many tips out there. Actually, if you, if you have some tips yourself, you're watching this, especially if you're an instructor watching this, um, and please, there's a comment section here, right? Down here, and, and please leave a comment. Um, or if, you, if you've done this skill already and you, you wanna share your experience or how it works for you that I didn't mention, please leave them in the comments below so uh, everybody can learn from that, including myself because we all keep learning um, in the end of the day, right? Uh, saying this whole thing about the comment section, remember, don't forget, if you're liking it so far, please 
hit that like button, give me that thumbs up, and, uh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and a little notification bell, otherwise you never know when I'm uploading an, a new video for you guys. So tip number one, um, remain calm. Now, you go, what? Yes, come on, that's easy. I'm freaking out here, I need to do this mask skill. Um, but remember that confidence story that we talked about, you know? It, trust me, it doesn't help when you're panicking to build confidence. Yeah. So being relaxed, being calm, makes you get ready, gets your brain ready for what you're about to do, and then it's much more easier, and that builds confidence, right? When you do things and it works. Yeah, but I still, I'm still stressed, I don't know. All right, picture this. If you're worried about getting some water in your mask and your face, or fully, or, or even taking it off and you're surrounded by water, of course, that might be a, a really scary thought. But think about this. You take, hopefully, a shower every day. You put your face in the water like this. Sometimes for even longer, like, ah. Oh. You're not breathing into your nose, why would you? And you start coughing if you would, right? So if you can do that, why can't you do it when we take off the mask? What about going into a bathtub and going under the water and laying there holding your breath a little bit? Swimming while holding your breath for some of you guys and girls out there. Swimming in general, having your face in the water, you're not breathing into your nose, trust me. You won't be able to swim. So if you can, all do, those, if you can do all of those things, and you can also do it with your mask. Just before you take it off, my tip is to stay calm. Is when an instructor tells you to take it off, don't do it straight away. Just go, okay. Breathe in first. Breathe out. You get all the time in the world. Okay, think about the shower, think about the bathtub. You're just gonna get some water. Like you're in a bathtub. But this time you can breathe. Because you have a regulator. Don't breathe like this. No, because it makes you maybe breathe into your nose. Just relax. Don't instantly clear, that's another trick as well. Don't just go put back on and clear. It doesn't always work and a little bit of water is still there. You might get it into your nose. So just relax. All right, two fingers. And into your mouth and out to your nose. While slightly looking up, that's the trick. While slightly looking up, because it's easier for the water to come out. Boom. And if the water is not out yet, don't worry, don't freak out, don't go, oh, no, there's no way. Breathe into your nose and yeah, then you're up on the surface, right? Relax. It's still, you go the first out. Oh, there's still some water there. Sometimes the instructor lets you know by tapping on the mask if you have your eyes closed for contact lenses or whatever. Just again, into your mouth, out to your nose. Shake and wibble your halibut and it's all out. Yeah, it gets a bit foggy on land uh, when you breathe into the mask. Normal, nothing to be scared about. Cool, so that's, that's tip number one. Just stay calm, breathe, relax, and it will do wonders. You might now already maybe clear it straight away. But I got more tips. Cool. So let's go into tip number two. So for the next tip when you're doing this uh, skill under the water is that when you're doing your partially flooded mask, so when you just have to clear a little bit of water, um, that it's probably the first how to clear your mask skill under the water skills that you do. Um, so don't put too much. Like when, when people are a little bit nervous to do this skill, we just go like, oh, a little bit of water there, you know. What they do, they just kind of do or they do like, like this, and then woof, the whole thing floods. And then, of course, you're more panicked. You go, you breathe into your nose as an automatic reaction. And um, 
Yeah, that's that's what causing, of course, a, a problem, right? Uh, uh, now you open the surface, you're coughing, you're you're scared, you 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 lose confidence. Um, so again, if you first stay calm, the instructor tells you to put a little bit of water in there. Yes, you can do it from the top. A lot of instructors tell you to do that, and it's not bad. Um, but yeah, you, I think you have to be quite skilled to do that, like, like gently, and, put, and it drips in front of your eyes and stuff. I never liked it, you know, and then it gets into your eye uh, the first time before, and I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's a bad way of doing it, but um, I, I prefer from the bottom, and why you can control better, because if you look straight forward, and you hold it from the bottom, and you open it, water doesn't actually enter, it just kind of stays here. So now, on your own time and speed, you just gently look down, or not look down, but move your head down, and then the water starts to just gently fill up, and then you can stop just under your eye level. And then you're kind of looking down on it, like, ooh, there's some water there. <laughs> move it around, create some little waves. I know, it's a bit silly, but, you know, make, make a little bit of fun out of it. You know, remember Harry Potter, you know, when, what was it again? Oh, the dispel. When they got scared, you know, and they from the, with the spell, and then the biggest fear turns into something funny. Well, it was a cool movie scene, but there's a truth to it. When you when you smile a little bit about something that you're scared of, it becomes a lot less scary. Um, so it does work. Cool. So again, tip from the top, it does work. Um, however, from uh, from the bottom, I think works a little bit better. And then move your head down, and you can control the speed of the water entering. Um, and then it's not so scary. So let me just show you how that works in one go without too much talking. So here we go. That's it. Easy. I know, now you go like, it's not easy. <laughs> I get you. <laughs> but one day, you're going to go all the way out. Oh, you were so right. That was so easy. So what I've seen a lot of people do is, or teach, or students, is when they, when the end comes, when they say, okay, you put some water in it, or you fully flooded it, or you took it off and put it back on, they say, um, look down first. And then you do that, and then you touch it here or on the side, eh, whatever. That's or even one hand. That's all good. Um, and you breathe in, and you go all the way. Um, and that does work very well. But oh, I actually taught that for for years because people taught me to do it like that too. But then I noticed that that works mostly for strong students, for people with a lot of confidence. And is it really needed, right? Think about it, it's just this much water or this much water, which is, which is actually not a lot, it's only this, right? So like when we are scuba diving normally, where we're fun diving, for all of you, you know, people that are going, no, no, it's not like that, I've been teaching us for years, this is the best way, I know. But when you're fun diving, think about it. When you get a bit of water in your mouth, when you're fun diving, do you literally go, oh, oh no, right? You just go like this, you're fun diving, you're seeing a fish, you get some water in your mouth, you just go, fun diving, seeing a fish, you just go, maybe you shouldn't do this, huh? because then we get like, oh, you should be streamlined, don't leave it in the comment, here we go again, streamlined, bit of water in it, or one hand. So if it's that easy when we're fun diving after we're certified, why don't we just do that already in the course? And why don't we teach it like that? Because it is that easy. So this is the tip. You have a little bit of water, a lot of water, a fully masked, whatever. So what you do, two fingers at the top, or here, or here, but here, this is what I like to do. Don't look down. Just look straight forward, and then into your mouth. And then out through your nose, while you're looking up just gently. That's it, no, bleh, like that, just from the side. <sighs> you 
done. Now I know it doesn't look so clear now, but again, that's being uh, foggy from my breath going into this mask. Cool, so don't overdo it. All right, so for the next tip, it's kind of similar as the last tip where I just said like, you know, just breathe out with gently, you know, looking diagonally up, not this massive blah, like that. Um, but that is when sometimes it's being taught to us. Like I've, 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 I've seen many instructors teach this and there's so many different ways of teaching it. And I all have something good and something, something bad in there. You know, nobody's perfect, including myself, you know. I've, I've adjusted the way to teach this skill multiple times over my career. And I've learned from all these amazing instructors that I've met in my life. And, um, and, and one thing though that I've, I've, I've noticed with quite a few instructors was that they over teaching it. So it was all this, you know, all right guys, this is the most difficult skill we're about to do, the mask clearing skill, step one. Uh, s grab it, step two, water in, step three, you know, look down, step four, step five. And you know, if you're, if you're already a little bit nervous as a student and you're kind of don't want to do this skill, you're kind of going, oh God, you know, oh my God, like step one and step two and I need to do this and all this and whatever briefing and oh, step four, I can't remember anything. And now you're on the water. Ah, it's all going to go wrong, right? So this is how it really is. Parsley flooded. Okay, I I'll use my mask to make it easier. Ready? Grab it at the bottom, lift it forward, go down a little bit, water just under your eye level. Relax, two fingers, touch the frame at the top, look straight forward. Breathe in and out through your nose while slightly looking up. Done. It could even be easier by literally just going, all right, guys. And then into your mouth, out to your nose, done. But maybe that's a bit too easy, too quick. Um, so I guess you have to kind of play around with this. When you're a teacher, play around with, you know, what's not enough information, what's too much information. Uh, and, and it depends on your students, depends on your group, depends on their confidence level, depends on so many things. So try to find a couple of different ways of teaching it and then uh, adjust to that depending on the group that you have. But if you're watching this as a student right now or someone is about to be a student, come on guys, in the end, it's into your mouth and out through your nose. So that's it. Don't overthink it, okay? Um, but it does help when you look up slightly and to get the water in, you need to lift it up a little bit or fully flood it or take it off. Now, when we come to the fully flooded, um, this time when you lift it up from the bottom all the way and you just try to do this, that doesn't work. You have to, you have to do it like this, okay? That's how it fully floods. Cool. Or like this, like that, uh, whatever you like. I like this more. And then the next one is uh, taking it off. So some people like to flood it first before they take it off. Um, and others just like to take it off. Um, Again, try to experiment a little bit. What works well for you? I've, uh, I've thought both ways. I've seen it go bad both ways and I've seen it go super good both ways. So it's a, it's a bit of a very opinionated, this one. But uh, if you don't want to overcomplicate your students, don't flood it first. Just tell them to take it off. It's like when they put their head under the shower, when they go into the bathtub or whatever they're used to that feeling anyway in most cases but again it might actually scare people now and it might be easier to fully flood at first because they just practice that skill um, also if you're teaching cold water then um, maybe it's better to fully flood it first because then your face gets used to the temperature of that water before you take it off otherwise it's such a big shock uh, so you see there's all kinds of different reasons why you do things sometimes slightly different uh, try it out experiment test 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 uh, that's what it's all about. All right, next tip. Hey guys, so far, long video. I hope you're still enjoying it. I hope that the changing of the sun the whole time and uh, making it darker and lighter is not annoying the hell out of you. Uh, but um, uh, hopefully so far so good. Hope far you like it. And remember, if you like it, hit that like button um, and, uh, and, and, and hopefully give me a subscribe as well um, as that is awesome. Um, and it will help this channel 
uh, grow a lot better. Now, um, other 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 tips. Uh, another tip is to practice on land. Um, so, uh, especially when you buy your own mask, you can do this much more easier. You know, just sit somewhere, wherever, in your home, outside, um, wherever, and uh, practice it. Just go into your mouth and out your nose. And into your mouth and out your nose. Into your mouth and out your nose. By the way, you don't have to do this. I'm doing this to make it, uh, to show you that I'm breathing in. But you can, you can just do this, huh? If you feel that an easy one, like I keep saying, it's enough. I think it's enough in most cases, but if you don't think it's enough and water keeps being in your mouth, try to do it longer. Not particularly harder. It does work hard, but it, it, it makes you maybe breathe in also quickly, and that quickly makes you maybe breathe in through your nose instead of your mouth. So longer is the better. Like that, and do that little wiggle, just wiggle it all out, I guess, right? I don't know if that works. But if you think it works, hey, that's a win, right? Confidence building. Whoop. Have people around you so they can give you tips. You can actually feel it eh, when you're breathing out if it works. You can feel it on the latex. It opens up, you can feel the air escaping. And if there's somebody around you, they can actually see that it's, it's going well as well. And if you don't feel comfortable with someone around you, just do it all by yourself. Now, what's an even better place to do this? Going to the shower. Yeah, put the water on it. You know, and then try it. Uh, or even better, if you have a bathtub. But it's not easy to do it in a bathtub, though. I actually tried in a hotel once. I don't have a bath, I wish. Um, because it's so shallow, it's hard to do this. And then it actually makes it uh, even easier to get the water into your, into your nose sometimes, right? So, yeah. Also, don't forget, if you get some water in your nose during this, it's not the end of the world. You are practicing, you are in confined water, shallow enough to, to you can stand up, right? Or hopefully if you have the right instructor. So if you're doing the partially flooded mask for the first time, of course, don't practice in deep water, practice in shallow water. You get some water in it. Hey, worst case scenario, just stand up, uh, uh, get it out of your, of, your, of your body, just sneeze it out, cough it out. Um, get yourself under control and strong. Give it another try with a big happy smile. Um, and, uh, and yeah, never ever ever go into deep water or deep water, even in the pool. Don't do it unless you are comfortable with this. Um, even then, you know, it's, it's very rare to get seriously injured, in, in, but it can, something can happen, right, in the deep end of the pool. So you want to prevent that. Uh, so first you need to master it and be super strong in the shallow end of a pool, but also in confined open water when you do it uh, from the beach, or maybe in a lake, in the ocean, things like that. I hope that uh, all these tips helped you. I hope that uh, you learn a little bit uh, why you know we, we need to learn skills before we can go scuba diving and especially you know, uh, why it's important to, to master the, the mask skills because again, like we said, you always get a little bit of water in that mask or you might wanna put more in it because it's a bit foggy or you might wanna adjust the strap, you wanna take it off. So there's all these reasons uh, why we need to learn this. And uh, most people, 80% uh, of all students, so if you, if you haven't done this course yet, all of this might not even be relevant to you because you might just clear it easily like that and it's, it's, it's no big deal. But t t around 20%, it might be more, it might be less, I don't know, but that's why I felt, always felt it. They, they struggle with this skill. While they can do all the other skills of the diving course so easy and that's another good thing to know, you know? Don't think like if you can't do this, all the other stuff is going to be hard too because trust me it's it's this is one of the only ones that people struggle with a bit so if this is a big problem to you hopefully now you've uh, you've learned that uh, confidence is key um, don't overthink it and remember that you get confidence by just repeating 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 doing it and the better you get in it the more your confidence builds up and uh, if you do get it in the end ah, oh, the feeling is is unbelievable and you are uh, going to be flying around for the next couple of days or diving around hopefully for the next couple of days um, knowing that you can do this, right? And it's awesome. So don't overthink it, lots of, uh, build lots of confidence and, um, and, uh, and, and yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing reward doing this in the end. 
Now, we, we've also talked about a couple of really cool tips, you know, to clear it for once, uh, stay, stay calm. It's really important. Don't, don't get yourself rushed by anybody. Uh, we've talked uh, a little bit as well about, you know, not, not doing all the way down, like I've seen a lot happen. Just, just gently up is enough. Uh, remember, it's just into your mouth, out through your nose. And in the worst case scenario, if it doesn't go that well, hey, you're in the shallow end, you can just stand up and, and try it again and again. Um, uh, practice on land helps a lot, like we just talked. Uh, so uh, get yourself your own mask, which will, uh, which, which, which will form, and the seal will form around your face over, over a couple of days, a couple of dives. And keep practicing it, and, and you'll be amazed how fast you get this under control. So again, I hope now that uh, you know um, how to clear your mask under the water while scuba diving. Um, again, I really hope that you love this video. So hit that like button, um, uh, subscribe to the channel again, uh, hit the notification bell. I say it so many times, so it means uh, a lot to me if you do so. So thank you for that. And if you didn't like it, then just don't do anything. Okay, just, just you know, just post the video and swap to the next one. But if you did like it, then please give me that, that likes, that thumbs up, that's awesome. And, 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 and there is this comment section down here um, where, where you can let me, please let me know, how, how was your experience clearing your mask? Were you scared? Did things go wrong? Um, how did you solve it in the end? Tell me your story. Tell me about your instructors. You know, how were they? Were they super cool? Did they have patience? Were they caring or not? You know, I wanna, I wanna know everything from you uh, about this experience. And if you haven't done the skill yet, then uh, go do it soon. And then, then come back to this video and comment below how it all went. Um, and of course, if you have more questions for me, then, then leave them in the comments too. I will answer them. I'll guarantee you. Um, it, it, it might take a day, but trust me on this one. I'll answer every single one of you. And then, of course, if you are having amazing tips yourself, especially if you're a diving instructor, then also let them uh, know in the comments because not only other people can learn from this, uh, but I can also learn from this still. And, uh, and I'm always striving to become a little bit better every single day as a, as a diving instructor. Um, by the way, if you don't know what a course director is, it is a diving instructor, but it means that I can teach diving instructors also. So if you haven't done your uh, diving instructor course yet, and you're thinking about becoming a dive master or an instructor later, then, uh, then, uh, then yeah, I would love to teach you. Uh, so again, in the comments below, you can find a link of my website, and through that website, uh, you can get in contact or through YouTube, of course, and then we can chat about fulfilling your dream about becoming a diving instructor uh, down the road. But you don't have to, of course, but if you do, hey, I'm here and, uh, and I would love to chat to you about your future.